So as we all know, thoracic spine, also called as dorsal spine, is between the cervical and lumbar spine. It's in the thoracic, uh, bounded by thoracic cage. So thorax has 12 vertebrae and 12 discs. And any problem around this disc or the bone, we have a lot of issues. So thoracic spine, either it can be a disc problem or it can be a stenosis problem. So disc, as we all know, is in between two bones. When it comes out, we call it as disc prolapse. In thoracic spine, the space for the nerves is very narrow. So as a result of which a disc comes out, patient will have a devastating problems. At the same time, there is a ligament in the back and the covering the, the spinal cord in thoracic spine. It's called yellow ligament. Often this yellow ligament, either it can get thickened or it can become calcified, leading to thoracic spinal canal narrowing. We call it as thoracic spinal stenosis. So a patient can have a thoracic spine disc prolapse or you can have a uh, ligament uh, thickening leading to stenosis. So with these two things, patient either can have a uh, severe pain or he can have a neurological symptoms in the form of weakness of lower limbs leading to sometimes complete power loss leading to a, a paralysis. What are the common symptoms and signs uh, in a patient with thoracic spine issues? So common symptoms as I said either it is because of the disc prolapse or it is because of the stenosis. So when a patient has a disc prolapse or stenosis, patient can have two main symptoms. Either one is pain or he can have a weakness in the lower limbs. So when uh, they say pain, this pain either it can be in the, the back of the uh, thorax that is in the mid back or it can radiate across the rib cage. They say severe pain in the back and they say it is radiating to the, the chest either it is coming anteriorly and they say it is very tight constriction like thing around the chest. So this is a very disabling symptom. Either it can be a pain in the back, mid back or it can be radiating pain around the chest. So the other main symptom of a disc prolapse leading to severe compression of the spinal cord, they have a weakness of lower limbs or numbness in the lower limbs or severe paresthesia in the lower limbs. Patients have difficulty in walking and he has a continuous numbness in the lower limbs. So this is, these are the common symptoms when a patient having thoracic spine issues, either because of the disc or because of the stenosis, he can uh, come here to a doctor. If it is very severe, then patient can have a paralysis where patient cannot walk, is a, a urine control and the motion control completely goes away and he cannot control. So he can have a, a urinary incontinence and motion incontinence and power in the limbs is lost. It is zero by five. So these are the common symptoms a patient can come which are very devastating, especially in thoracic spine. So how can we diagnose these thoracic spine problems, a patient having spine issues? So these thoracic spine issues, a patient coming with either a pain or with a weakness in the lower limbs, patient should not neglect these symptoms. He should immediately visit a doctor or a spine specialist. Once we, a patient is uh, there, uh, a clinical examination is done, we can roughly assess as a doctor whether issue uh, is uh, very severe or it is a mild issue. Depending upon the clinical examination, we can uh, diagnose it accurately with uh, investigations like X-ray or MRI uh, the thoracic spine and understand what is the exact problem there, whether it is a disc or whether it is a ligament which is causing thickening and causing compression. So, or else sometime rarely a bone uh, can cause a problem there. So we can 
clearly understand what is happening there with mri scan uh, and diagnose the problem what non surgical treatments are available today for thoracic spine problems once we clinically examine the patient and uh, do some necessary investigations and uh, diagnose the issue so we all uh, normally start uh, with patient with medication some uh, uh, rest and some physical exercises and physiotherapy most of the time they get better with this uh, uh, simple measures with exercises and medication and rest and some precautions we tell them to take uh, care of their uh, thoracic spine if this is uh, uh, getting better then we patient comes back to his routine after a few days 90% of the time there is uh, no necessary for surgery they become better with this uh, measures if they come early to a, a spine specialist when is a surgical option need to be considered in thoracic spine issues so the moment uh, as i said medical management or conservative management is not working uh, or the patient is becoming worse even after the conservative or medical management or the symptoms are very severe or very significant on uh, clinical examination and mri he definitely needs uh, a surgery or the spine specialist decides that uh, surgery is the only option then we need to uh, go for surgery that is a time it should not be delayed uh, in cervical spine and lumbar spine there is some time for the patient to think but in uh, thoracic spine uh, when patient symptoms and signs are severe we cannot wait uh, because the injury is devastating that's why uh, you need to go for a surgical option uh, without uh, waiting much time so what are the surgical options available and what are the advancements in thoracic spine so when you come for surgical options in thorax because it is bounded by a rib cage the thoracic spine so when you want to operate on the patients we need to do a lot of uh, big surgeries in thoracic spine we need to cut open uh, remove the bone remove the joint and uh, put lot of uh, screws and uh, so many issues even a small issue need to operate in thoracic spine we need big surgeries to uh, circumvent this now we have a technology called endoscopy where with endoscope spine surgery technologies we can these are the latest advancements we can Uh, a 20 cm incision with lot of screws and rods we can prevent that and just do a small 8 mm hole and get away uh, without any these big big surgeries so we can, patient can become better with very small hole with 8 mm incision with endoscopic spine uh, uh, technology we can address the disc or we can address the stenosis today uh, with uh, uh, excellent results how long this uh, endoscopic uh, spine technology option available uh, in, uh, for this thoracic spine surgery in india so this uh, technology uh, we were doing endoscopic spine technology we were doing for cervical spine and lumbar spine since long uh, time uh, of late we are uh, even doing it for uh, thoracic spine and uh, we as uh, asian spine hospital Uh, is the pioneers in this uh, endoscopic spine technology in india uh, where we do uh, excellent uh, with giving excellent results for both thoracic disc disease and thoracic spinal stenosis we can use this endoscopic uh, uh, spine technology and give the best results avoiding uh, big incisions uh, big uh, many screws uh, implants this all things can be avoided and big uh, uh, what to say uh, where uh, traumatic surgeries can be avoided today with this endoscopic spine uh, technology and uh, this is available in india now and uh, uh, it is uh, uh, been done routinely at asian spine hospital what can patient expect uh, uh, about the recovery period after his uh, uh, treatment and uh, how can you prevent further issues in future so 
So this is very important aspect of uh, treatment. Uh, when uh, we treat patient, uh, uh, say uh, two things: uh, conservative and surgical. Conservative management or medical management, patient gets better. He need to be always careful that these uh, symptoms can recur. So he need to do a lot of uh, uh, ergonomic way of working, physical exercises, and take uh, adequate precautions not to get uh, the symptoms uh, again. If we have done surgery to this patient, then again, this takes time to the pro, the uh, time to heal. So he need to take adequate rest and good physical exercises, and again ergonomics at workplace, which can prevent him to again have a recurrence or a problems at a new place. Either surgery or no surgery, patient need to have a disciplined uh, uh, work culture and uh, personal lifestyle where he can avoid getting injured and leading to uh, devastating symptoms like paralysis in future. So always a spine patient should take care of himself, uh, having a, a, a holistic approach towards his lifestyle.